So what we can see here, I've just got a white t-shirt and regular slacks, my pandemic pants. Still, I won't say going strong, but they're still going. Um, until I solve the pants problem, that's the resolution. So, um, you can see that this is still basically the same shape that it was before. I haven't changed anything about the shape from the fitting. What I am noticing, now that I have the sleeve on, so this sleeve is a sleeve from another pattern, um, an unreleased one that I'm a test sewist from, but I thought it was a nice two-piece sleeve that already existed, so I'd give it a shot. This is the largest size that that sleeve comes in, and I did that because the next size down I was having a lot of fitting problems with, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm a little unsure. It seems a little, <laughs> a little excess, right? It looks like it could be a lot tighter. However, however, this is a banyan. It's supposed to go over 18th century stuff. So I'm going to pause this video really quickly and go put on my 18th century shirt, just the shirt, and see what happens. Now, here's the shirt. Um, this one is my, this one's the most recent make. Um, I can sort of tell by little details by what I did and what I didn't do. This is the most recent make. I like it best out of all of the ones I've made um, just for fit. And um, ordinarily I wear it with nothing under it, but because we're fit testing and I'm on video, uh, I'm not going to worry about that. And I should probably have grabbed my cufflinks because there's no other way to close these cuffs, which are kind of enormous. <laughs> um, but we're just going to roll them up a little tiny bit at the ends and go with it. Pardon the noise. Um, so one of the reasons I like this shirt better than the ones I made previously is that it's actually got smaller shoulders. Um, my previous mates have shoulders that drop all the way down to here, and this one it's a dropped shoulder, but like my shoulder point is here. It's only a few inches dropped and it sits much better on my body. I can absolutely understand why people switch. These are a ridiculous extravagance. They are not period. Um, these enormous French cuffs, but I love them. So since it's my wardrobe, I'm making it to suit me and not necessarily historical standards at all times. Um, but here we are again. Again, I'm trying this on inside out, and you can see that I um, ran a gathering stitch to help it ease in. Um, so there are some sections that have two and some sections that have one, and I think I got it right. I think I did. Gosh, I hope I did. Um, the instructions that I found online for how to place this properly, get that pin out of there, said that the back seam of the arm should line up with the ending of this shoulder seam that comes down at an angle. So I did that. Anyway, let's see. I feel like Mr. Rogers putting on <laughs> something over something else like this. I almost never wear layers like this, but it would be very nice to have if I can get it right. So Cuff coming through on that side, coming through on this side. Um, you know, I have I have a strong preference for non-shiny fabrics. Um, and I'm just gonna roll this sleeve up because these are really ridiculous and they're neither pinned nor clipped. Anyway, um, I have a, a, quite a thing for non-shiny fabrics against my skin. I really don't like the sensation of a shiny fabric, a silk even or satin, um, I just, uh, <laughs> just I, I don't like the sensation. But, um, you know, we work with what we've got. Now you can see the elbow is still a little bit too low. My actual elbow bend is here, this elbow bend is down here, so I probably could do with a little bit shorter upper arm. However, however, you can see with the extra million yards of fabric that go in this shirt, that the size of the sleeve around the upper arm is almost perfect. There's not a lot of extra space in there. So I, I might move the elbow up a little, but I'm going to stick with this larger size sleeve because I don't think I can get, 
I don't think I could get the 18th century kit underneath it if it were even one size down. Um, and it does, it fits in quite nicely um, into the into the arm side. It's a good shape, a good size. Um, I could probably make the sleeve, the arm side still a little bit higher. But again, you know, it's like, it, am I fitting a frock coat? No, I'm fitting something to go over. All the frock coat would have to go over similar layers. I don't know how they did it. The more you do this, the more I'm like, how how did y'all, how did y'all make that work? I don't know. I would love to be a fly on the wall with an 18th century tailoring shelf for a week. Anyway, I think this is acceptable. I think what will happen when I put this one on is it'll pull this one over a little bit. Um, could I use with, could I do with a little bit more even room in the arm side, maybe? But honestly, I have pretty good range of motion, all things considering. Um, considering that this is essentially a fitted garment, I can still reach in front of me. That's, that's remarkable. And if I discover that I like two-part sleeves, I may start putting them in more modern-looking shirts um, because I like things that fit. And I don't much care if it's a little fussier. Now, what I'm noticing, and maybe someone can help me with this, is uh, is this. Like, it's pulling quite a bit through the front as I come across. So I wonder if I need a little extra, um, if, if the bottom half, the smaller half, needs a little bit more curvature to give me a little more room. I'm not sure. Fitting sleeves is brand new for me. But, um, yeah. So we, I, we have at least the beginning of the sleeve, and even if I leave the elbow where it is, you know, when I bend my elbow, that point is in the right place. So I'm not terribly concerned about making sure that it's exactly right when I hang my arm down. Um, this would probably come up and be cuffed, something like that. Um, so yeah, I think we are getting very close. Now I have to take this whole thing apart, well, at least a lot of it, and strike a pattern um, on a non-woven fabric from this top piece. I'm still nervous about cutting the neck. I'm not sure how to deal with that um, situation. I have some ideas, but still a little unsure of myself with the neck part. I cut it, basically I didn't cut it, and this part may need to be pinched in a little bit. But again, I don't want to take too much out because it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder to put it back in than it is to um, to take it out later. Um, so anyway, I think we're ready to strike a, at least a, a draft pattern and make up a whole one. Um, maybe in that candy stripe fabric I have, <laughs> maybe that's what I'll do first, is an unlined candy striped version. Um, although that seems like it'll be visually a lot. So we'll see. Anyway, here we are. Um, we have a sleeve. We have a side, we have a front, and um, and I even found an image of an, a 1760 one that looks a lot like this in terms of shape, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. See you soon.